Jenny, are you excited about Comic-Con? Good morning to you. It's going to be a little different, though. I've never been. I literally have never been to Comic-Con. Wait, go. La last year? Did no. You covered it? No? Mm -mm. No. No. You oh. thought I was there. I was not there. I was sick. Oh, that's right. Sick. Yeah. That's I know. Right. Earlier in the show, you guys were like, Jenny was there. I was like, no, yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love this first story. This could be the greatest delivery driver in the history of delivery drivers. One FedEx worker went beyond the job description to make a little girl's quarantine birthday extra sweet. This is Jordan Price of Fishers, Indiana. He's been a FedEx driver for 36 years, but this was his first time delivering to this particular address. So when he found out there was a birthday girl inside, he ran out and surprised little Emma with ice cream cupcakes for her and her family for her sixth birthday. Price said, hey, I know she wasn't in school because of the pandemic, so I just wanted to make this a special day. But here's the best part. The driver left so quickly, mom didn't get his name, so she posted on Twitter hoping to find him, and she did. I just want to Mr. Tell you, Price! I just gonna tell you thank you for sitting there. I always tell my son I always be nice and be there it is. Mom Liz flagged down several FedEx trucks on her street, literally chasing them. She's like, who is this mystery delivery worker? She tweeted the video. She tagged FedEx and Dairy Queen and success. Mr. Price stopped by and Emma, mom and the family got to say thank you. So sweet. I love this story. The cast of The Office got together recently to help a couple tie the knot. Watch this and try not to have a little uh, tear. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of The Office. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's you, it's you and me moving at the speed of light into eternity. Yeah, tonight is the night. join. <laughs> John Krasinski officiated a virtual wedding for Susan and John on his web show, Some Good News. Krasinski, as you see, brought in the couple's closest friends on Zoom, had Jenna Fisher serve as honorary maid of honor, country singer Zach Brown serenaded them, and at the end, which is what you're seeing now, this made me so happy, he recruited all his old office castmates to perform the show's spontaneous wedding dance. You probably remember that from their sixth season. By the way, the couple had a very similar proposal to Jim and Pam, which happened at a gas station. So sweet. And finally, if you know someone who still can't grasp the rules of social distancing, maybe this will help. For those around you, please stand at least one meter apart. Thank you. A four-legged canine-like robot called Spot has been unveiled in Singapore to remind, remind park goers to keep six feet apart. So the robot is part of a two-week trial run held by the National Parks Board. Spot was developed by Boston Dynamics. It's being deployed to, quote, reduce the manpower required for park patrols and just minimize contact among staff. It's got sensors and cameras, and that's supposed to help with the social distancing. Oh, very cool. So, Jenny, the reason I asked you about Comic-Con is because we had a story that was supposed to be yeah. there right before you. They're going virtual. That's the thing. Yeah, so I, that'll be my first year. Hopefully, there you go. <laughs> I'll get to get there yeah. eventually. Yeah, in the promo, they said you get to bring your pets to this one, uh -huh. right? That's I mean, awesome. hey, little benefits. So it'll be that. me and all the foster kitties yes. just right. watching. No lines, no nothing. <laughs> they released a, uh, a yeah. virtual teaser, so can't wait to see how that's going to be. Jenny, thank you. Still to